Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. I am uh, next to the hexadecimal memory cell I uploaded last time. Links to that in the description and annotations. And um, yeah, I was messing around and uh, I came up with this. And this is the first actual alternating current in Minecraft. So uh, what we have here, signal strength goes down, signal strength goes back up. Now it's not high frequency like in real life, but it is actual an actual alternating current. So not just on off, it actually varies in signal strength. Um, now you might be wondering what's the practicality of this. I don't know yet. Uh, it, I mean, it looks really cool. Uh, you can obviously see that like for the lighting effect, you, with repeaters, you, you, you can't really get this sort of result, this smooth. Um, and mechanically wise, like the way it works is, is I think also pretty interesting. Like uh, if you want to try this yourself, um, just freeze the screen here and and build it like this. Be sure to activate the comparators. I'm pronouncing it like that because I got so much hate like the last couple of videos from people <laughs> for mispronouncing it. Um, but I looked it up and apparently it's comparator. So I'll be announcing and bleh, saying it like that. Um, then the way it works is uh, I'm using the same sort of memory cell as we had here. The only difference is though, like this would be the perfect memory cell because now whenever it stores, it keeps it because the signal strength here is the same as there. But the moment I have a uh, redstone dust here, what will happen is every loop it makes, because this is in a sense is sort of a clock, I mean it, it's looping, but every loop it makes, it loses one signal strength because it has to travel as you can see, it's going down. So how does it work then? Well, I've got a redstone block here. Could also be a torch, but redstone block looks cooler. Into a comparator. And um, this thing is always emitting 15 strength. But uh, the amount that's in this memory cell is being reduced of that. So on the way back, what you will see, like now it's active. And once it's gone, um, it basically this thing starts up when it's at the end and then slowly as um, this is getting reduced you'll see it go down so 15 and then go down and the reason for that is is because uh, this thing is actually hooked up into another comparator so this one's actually doing 15 so it's doing um, whenever it's I'm, I'm using so many comparators it's really hard to explain um, so this one goes, like when it activates, this one is gives a, a one and then a two and then a three and then a four. But seeing as it's hooked up to another compar comparator, uh, the signal strength is going to get reduced. Now on the way back, what's going on? I have a repeater here that, that basically, um, powers, uh, for a short moment powers this circuit. So this is like a, a sort of a monostable circuit right here. And once this uh, gives power, um, th this signal will also slowly start to fade because this is also uh, an analog memory cell, but it's not perfect. So it's gonna slowly uh, lose signal. And that's hooked up to uh, another um, comparator uh, that's also being reduced. So I, I, got, I got like a memory cell for the um, for the downward part, which is this, and I have a memory cell for the upward part. And I just using the the repeater and the uh, uh, torch, sort of monostable circuit, uh, I'm basically giving uh, pulses here and there where needed. Um, and that's how it works. So yeah, pretty cool. Good use of the comparator. And um, yeah, if you want to use this, feel free to uh, try it out yourself. Um, if you come up with any interesting uses, I'd love to see them. Feel free to post them as video responses. Uh, but yeah, alternating current in Minecraft. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.